Okay, this is not going to be so much a review as it is just a quick little response to some reviews I have seen on what I think is an excellent American-made automatic knife. Yes, the Kershaw Launch 5. And fresh out of the box, mine had the same problem that I've seen a few people complaining about, and that was that when the blade was deployed, it would open so fast that it would actually bounce back off of the stop pin to where it would almost look like the knife was fully open, but if you look up close here, you can see the firing button is still recessed into the handle, and if I give the blade a little push, now it's fully open and locked in place with absolutely no play in the blade. Mine had that same problem out of the box, but now it deploys perfectly every time. It never bounces back. It's just fast, fast, fast. But I don't have the problem with the blade bouncing back like I did at first. All it took to fix the problem, people, was just one little tiny adjustment of the T8 screw in the pivot. Now, I don't want to actually adjust this on screen because I have it uh, dialed in just exactly the way I want it. It's not too fast, it's not too slow. But I have here the T8 bit from my Leatherman Wave, or rather the bit kit you can buy for a Leatherman Wave. And all it took was just the slightest little I don't even know if there's a word to describe it. Just a little on the pivot screw. Uh, just a little nudge. Yeah, a nudge on the on the pivot screw. And apparently not everybody knows this, or not everybody is aware that you can just walk into the store and buy a freaking T8 Mini Torx driver and fix the problem yourself before you get on a Knife Center or wherever you bought your Launch 5 and write a scathing one-star review and call the knife garbage and tell people don't buy Kershaw, Kershaw's terrible. Come on, people. Just because it's not perfect out of the box doesn't mean it's garbage. I've had spider codes that cost more than this. I've had benchmades that cost more than this that weren't perfect out of the box and required a slight adjustment of not just the pivot screw, but even, even the body screws in the handle or on the clip. Maybe the clip was a little too loose at first. Just consider that before you go and write a negative review and try and hurt the reputation of what I think is an excellent American-made automatic knife. And again, this isn't so much a review, just my little two cents worth. It doesn't take much to, to fix the problem. Uh, it's an excellent, awesome knife. There, that's the review. Go get it. If you live in an area where you are allowed to have an automatic knife, then I say definitely consider this one. It's big, it's beautiful, it's very comfortable in the hand, very ergonomic, and may not be perfect out of the box, but it can be quickly made so with just a slight adjustment, people. So maybe consider that before you go and write your negative review. Please go to the store and get yourself a Torx driver. Is that really too much to ask? <sighs> and that is all I have got to say about that. End of rant.